Hi there, this is Andreas with ExpressPads Finger Drumming and today I'd like to give you a closer view on the Sensil Morph which will be released in two months from now. So please beware, this is a beta version and if you intend to buy it and you're watching this video after December 2016, the functionalities that I'm going to explain here and also the look and feel of the device might be slightly different from what you purchase. So what I'm going to look at in this video is the device itself so I will show you some close-ups but also some close-ups of the overlays we'll speak about lighting um, about the uh, sensitivity of the different elements uh, where um, the they are capturing um, the different hits and movements of your fingers things like that and I would like to start with the device itself so when you take a closer look you will notice that it is an alloy housing and it reminds me of some products that we all know quite well and which have been designed pretty well. And I can imagine that they also felt like going that direction. But I also can say that um, it's, it's well done. Yeah. So the device, you really can see that its quality, the value of the device, it's the materials that have been used and the way that they have been processed looks really good so you have that over oh, the sur surface here then you have an LED uh, edge over here and the only elements that you have on that device next to the surface is a button which I don't know what it's there for probably it's the on off button but currently I don't need it because when I put the USB connector on everything is loading fine so it's recognized by the software without any issues I'm using Windows 10 here and over here you have something maybe this has a, a meaning probably it's Bluetooth I don't know um, and here you have a little LED which hasn't been lighting up so far so um, right now I don't know what it's there for but probably is there for a reason then if we look at the overlays then you can see you can bend them without any problems and um, when you compare this one here which you see as a close-up to the ones that you have seen on the sensor website if you've been there then you will notice a difference and I think that the ones that they have shown in their videos are early candidates probably uh, before they went into production and those were obviously printed uh, with uh, 3d printers and this one here now looks like either the the method of printing it has been changed or it really has been moved to real life production uh, which means that uh, the surface itself has a different and improved quality okay th then the next one is how you connect it to the device so when I just move it over there you can see that there is a snapping point and a point where it doesn't want me to take it away from and that's because there are magnets in it. So the device itself or the uh, overlay itself, it contains some magnets. So there are two rubber foils uh, glued together as it looks. And in between there are little chips of, of magnetic material and this makes it attached to the surface. And the good thing is that it really, this way, it's, it's really easy to, to attach to the device. You, you really can't do anything wrong, even if you would like to go like that. So nothing happens, the device doesn't recognize anything. And when I just shift it over, you really see that jumping and that snapping. And that's because of the magnets. Okay, when you take it away, you also see that there are LEDs lighting up. And when I go back to the drum pad um, overlay, then you will notice that when I hit a pad, that there's a visual reflection on the top on the LED edge. And I think that, that this, I mean, I personally don't really need it, but it's, it's nice to have a visual reflection uh, and indication. But I think where it becomes important is when you go to the control elements. So for example, the slider here, it is a good indication of where your slider goes on a on a range from 0 to 100 and you can see that the transmission is really smooth so on that fader as well 
And even if you go to these knob substitutions, it's it's really nice. So it's it's it also you can see I don't apply a lot of pressure. Really, I'm just almost touching. I'm barely touching the device. And also, what I like about these uh, knobs here is when you hit it in the middle, it indicates where you left that this arc. Yeah, so you know exactly where your knob, where you left it when you turned it the last time. Also, what I like to mention is that when you put a different overlay on it, that the software, or maybe it's not the software or the device, I don't know, um, but anyway, it recognizes it that there is a different layout on the, on the device now. And uh, when you, for example, go to your DAW and choose AVST, then you will see that it's um, yeah chromatic here as you would expect it on the uh, keyboard but if you put this one in and i just will go to a drum vst then the device recognizes that this is a different overlay and automatically changes the preset for the MIDI control um, and that's that's really important and it makes the workflow faster and easier. Now the last thing I want to show you is the pad sensitivity and um, how the pads respond to hits and let's start with the center. When I hit the pad in the center of course everything is recognized but when I move it to the frame yeah it's good right? And that's what I really like about it. So they, the elements that you see here, the way they are graphically indicating spaces and areas, this is really precisely reflecting um, a pad. It's not just that you need to hit it in the center, you can really hit it on the edges as well and that will work. And same if you go to uh, the black areas and hit them, nothing will happen and this is exactly what you expect. And finally, um, hit detection in terms of velocity. I would say it's rather sensitive and um, here I think they will surely add a feature where you can uh, tweak the sensitivity of the device software-wise. Right now with this beta version it's just one fixed um, sensitivity, but um, I would say it's rather sensitive at the moment. But if you have really strong hands you might need to reduce it later on so that you not always play with full throttle when you, um, yeah, when you play. And the last thing I want to show you is that you can put these overlays on top of one another and due to the magnets they will just be attached to one another and to the device and you can start going anywhere with it and you see how small your music making setup can be if you use the sensor morph.